welcome back sir in this uh, lesson i discuss one problem of bayes theorem of probability this is the problem the contents of on 1 2 and 3 are as follows on 1 1 white 2 black 3 red box similarly on 2 Two white, one black, and three red. One red ball. And uh, on three, four white, five black, and three red ball. These are the contents of on. On means a a a bottle, a a bottle, a bag. So in which uh, you have these these are the balls. And what is the problem? One on is chosen at random, and two balls are drawn. One on is chosen, is taken randomly, and then. Two balls are drawn, and they happen to be white and red. The one ball should be white, and the other ball should be red. They happen to be. Find the probability that they come from on one, two, or three. In a short time, you can easily identify that uh, it is a problem of Bayes theorem. Is it not? Because of the reason why. Two balls are drawn, sir. अंत ये मूड आई बैक्स उ फ्रम विच पर्ट्युर्ड्रॉन सो काबीटी थ्री आई थ्री आई सो प्रॉबिटी यूजिटी We have to calculate. These are all the things can be calculated. Ants, as well as you have to select ants randomly, as well as you have to select balls also randomly. And such kind of uh, probability is going to be calculated with the help of the Bayes theorem that is all. So all the probability Bayes theorem will change. Change the mu. Kapati is very clear. So we got to move on to the next one, right? So now you see. To identify the Bayes, that after identifying the Bayes theorem, to calculate the probabilities of Bayes theorem, we have to calculate six probabilities. What are those? E one, E two, E three, we have to identify, and E or three even E we have to identify. Then six probabilities: probability of E one, E two, E three, probability of A given E one, A given E two, A given E three. Then three are in the circle. Then under three answers, only I have to. I have confirmed that three. Uh, probabilities you will get in a up time. So I consider first of all what is E one. I select E one is selecting on one. Selecting on one. For example, what is then what is E two? E two selecting on two. What is E three? Can you can uh, choose? You can select selecting on three. So these are these three are fixed. Now what is after E one? E Which is to be common to all. Drawing two balls which are white and red. Drawing two balls which are white and red. It may come from on one or two or three. Therefore, it is common event. It is called ordinary event, which is common to all these three. Maybe from E one, E two, E three. So therefore, I am writing A is an ordinary event of drawing, drawing. Two balls, two balls, which are white and red, which are white and red. So this is what the consideration first. Now you want to calculate probability of E one, probability of E two, and probability of E three, and then probability of A given E one. And probability of A given E two, and probability of A given E three. These are the things you are calculating. What is probability of E one? Probability of selecting on one. How many on ones are there? One. How many total number of ones are there? Three. So therefore, one C one divided by three C one is one by three. The selection depends on NCR formula. Similarly, on two again one by three, on three again one by three the probability. Three on side there, one on is going to select. The probability is one by three. 
Now, what is this probability of A given E1? Probability of A, what is A? Drawing two balls which are white and red. <coughs> and given E1. <coughs> which means, if on one is already selected, E1 is already happened. Given event means already happened. Condition. What is the condition? Given that E1 has, has already happened. Which means what is E1? Selecting on one. If on one is selected among the ones, two, three arms. Among three arms, you, you, you select one particular arm already randomly, one particular arm was selected. It was happened. Then what is the probability? That is, if on one is selected, what is the probability of getting two particular balls which are right and right? That is, uh, how many not, total number of balls are there? 3, 2, 1, 6. So, therefore, this is 6C2 because how many balls are going to draw? 2. So, how many ways we can draw 6C2? So, 1 white ball. We have to select 1 white ball. There is here 1 white ball. So, 1C1. Multiplied by 3 red balls. We have to select 1 red ball. That is 3C1. It's equal and then. Now, 3 multiplied by 6C2. 6C2 is uh, uh, 5 things of 15. 3 by 15. So 1 by 5. <coughs> Similarly, probability of A given E2. E2 means uh, on 2 has already selected. Which means uh, second half is selected. Total number of parts 2, 1, 1, 4. So answer is uh, 4C2 ways, total number of ways. Selecting two balls. Two white balls. We have to select one white ball. Two C1 ways you can select. One red ball. So hence it is one C1. <coughs> Four C2. It is six. Two by six is one by three. Probability of A given E3. Select it. On three is already selected. What is the probability of getting two balls which are white and red? Then this is 4 plus 5, 9 plus 3, 12. Total number of outcomes are 1C2. And uh, 1 white ball, 4 white balls are there. 1 white ball is going to select it. 4C1 into 3 red balls, 3C1. So hence it is uh, 4 multiplied by 4C1 is 4, 3C1 is 3, <coughs> divided by 1C2. 1 into 11 divided by 2 into 1, 6. And then uh, 3 twos, 2 twos, this 2 by 11. And now we have to calculate probability of A, that is uh, total probability. So these are the 6 probabilities I have mentioned to calculate. That's enough to calculate the base theorem. Probability of E1, E2, E3, A given E1, A given E2, A given E3, that's all. These are the six probabilities you have to calculate. And then I am calculating total probability. Probability of A is equal to probability of summation I is equal to 1 to N. Probability of EI into probability of A given EI. This is the formula. For three events I am writing here probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A given E2 plus probability of E3 into probability of A given E3. This is what the probability, total property of the calculator. Hope uh, you consider this is A, this is B and this is C. That's all. A, B, C are required. A plus B plus C. What is probability of E1? 1 by 3. A given E1. It is 1 by 5. Plus 1 by 3, probability of E2, A given E2 is 1 by 3. Plus 1 by 3, multiplied by probability of A given E3 is 2 by 11. The total value it is uh, 118 divided by 495. <coughs> this what uh, reminding all, it's nothing but simple calculation of proportionate values, that's all. By using the uh, Bayes theorem, if you want to calculate probability of drawing two balls which are white and red from arm 1, that is the statement, the first one. 
probability of E1, P1, A. It is going to be calculated by probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 divided by probability of A. What is probability of A? A plus B plus C. And if you write this is A, this is B and this is C, that is nothing but A by A plus B plus C. This is probability of, this is nothing but A divided by A plus B plus C. That's all. <coughs> Next one is B divided by A plus B plus C. Probability of E3 given A is C divided by A plus B plus C. That's all. It's a proportionate value. That's all. You have to identify that fashion so that it is very easy. So then there is nothing but uh, it is equivalent to be 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 divided by this is uh, uh, 118 divided by 495. <coughs> this is nothing but you see here 1 by 3 into 1 by 5 is this. This is A. This is A plus B plus C. This is the final value. It is uh, 33 by 118. Similarly, come from on to that is uh, probability of drawing two balls which are white and red from on to is going to be calculated by probability of E2 given A. It is nothing but uh, this is A by A plus B plus C and this is B by a plus B plus C, that's all. <coughs> Which means uh, it is 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 divided by 118 by 495. It is something but uh, the value of here 55 by 118. Similarly, the third one. The third one is. Uh, Probability of E3 given A, it is nothing but the formula is probability of E3 into probability of A given E3 divided by probability of A. This is probability of E2 given A, is probability of E2 into probability of A given E2 divided by probability of A. Probability of E3 given A is nothing but probability of E3 into probability of A given E3 divided by probability of A. That's what I am doing. It is nothing but uh, 1 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 11 divided by 118 divided by 495. This is uh, 30 divided by 180. Now you see if you add all these three, you should get 1, that's all. Because it is a proportionate value. I strongly again and again I express that it is a proportionate value. There are three proportionate values are there A plus A, B, C. If you consider A by A plus B plus C is nothing but probability of E1 given A. B by A plus B plus C is nothing but probability of E2 given A. And C by A plus B plus C is nothing but probability of E3 given A. Similarly, if you have 4, then A divided by A plus B plus C plus D, that's all. So, it's, it is very, very simple problem. No need to confuse uh, in the problem of uh, base theorem of probability. I hope you understand. Here is what the required three probabilities probability of even given A, probability of E2 given A, and probability of E3 given A, for which you have to calculate E1, E2, E3, A, B1, E1, A, B1, E3, A2, A, B1, E3, the six probabilities, and then the total probability. It's based on all six, that's all. And then require the probabilities of base theorem. Hope you understand. Thank you.